which of the following bar charts could represent the data on the pie chart? Look at the, the white, it's double the size of the light gray and the dark gray. So the only possibility is going to be A. Okay, so a fair die has just been rolled five times, giving scores of one, two, three, four, five in that order. So if it's a fair die, then every single number should have the same probability of occurring. Okay, so it's a fair, fair die. And here, since we have six numbers, okay, and each have the same probability of occurring, okay. So the probability of getting uh, six, okay, will be one over six. Okay, probability of getting a five will be one over six. Probability of getting a four will be one over six, and so on. Okay, and then when we add up all those probabilities, let's, let's, let's do it all. So one over six, probability of two, one over six, probability of one, oops, one over six. Okay. When we add up all those, those probabilities, we'll get one. Okay, so total probability is equal to one. Okay, so you're adding up all the events, all the possibilities, you'll get um, one. Okay, and since it's a fair die, probability, probabilities for each, each uh, case, each event is one over six. So how likely is it that the score on the next roll will be a six? It's going to be even. Okay, it will have the same probability. Okay, so with this question, let's see how many people bought ice cream first. So we know that 60 people bought strawberry ice cream. Okay, so here this is going to be 60 as well. Here this is going to be 60, and here this is going to be 60. So the total number of ice cream is 60 times 4, which is 240. Now we want to work out how many people um, bought chocolate ice cream. Okay. So sure, let's have a look at this. Okay, we know a quarter uh, to the strawberry. Okay, so, so here we subtracted from one, so it's going to be three quarters. Okay, and then that is going to be divided between the uh, vanilla and the chocolate. So it's going to be chocolate, so chocolate. Okay, it's just going to be a half of this, so half times three quarters, which is three over eight. So now we need to find 3 over 8 um, or 240. So what we can do, we can divide 3 over 8 times 240. So we can divide 240 by 8, which is going to be 30. And then we are going to multiply by 3, which is going to be 90. So here this is equal to 90. So our answer is A. So for this question, we've got mean, medium, bone, and off numbers in the boxes below are all the same. So it looks like looking from this, the mode is going to be seven. So mode is going to be seven. Okay, and also the median is going to be seven. And then we're going to have the mean is also seven. Okay, so let's have a go at finding uh, this missing value. Okay, so what we could do is just let's have a look upon the mean. So how do we work out the mean? We add up all the values and divide by the total number of boxes. Okay, so here we've got seven plus seven plus five plus seven. This unknown value, I don't know yet, and then we divide by the total number of boxes, which is five. And here, the mean is going to be seven. So 
So do a bit of algebra, so it's multiplying both sides by 5. 7 plus 7 plus 5 plus 7, okay, plus x is equal to 35, okay, and let's um, add up all the like terms. So we've got 14, 21, 21 plus 5 is 26, so 26 plus x is equal to 35, and to get x on its own, we need to subtract. 26 from both sides, so we have x is equal to 9. So our missing value is e. Okay, so we have cards, we have cards, a set of those six cards are numbered from 36, and four cards are chosen, and I'm going to say the four cards which are chosen, we don't know the four cards. Um, this is just an example. One card is two, uh, another card is five, another card is ten, ten, and another card is eleven. Okay. And the question is, like, what are the chances of them being dealt in descending order? So if it's dealt in descending order, um, there's only going to be one possibility. So here, this is going to be eleven. First card, second card will be ten, third card will be five, and so the fourth card will be two. Okay, but there's also other uh, ways of ordering these, these cards. You can order it as 2, 5, 10, 11. Uh, you can order it as 5, 10, 11, 2. There's many, many different possibilities. The thing is, for each um, way of ordering the cards, so they each have equal probability. Okay, so let's find uh, the number of ways of ordering these cards. Okay, so choosing the first cards, the first card, first card dealt. Okay. So I can either choose a two first, a five first, a ten first, or my eleven first. Okay. So I've got like four choices here. So here it's just four choices. Uh, second card dealt. Okay. So if I've taken I say for example here my, I, I, I took the, uh, the two out, my first card dealt, and I just have three other cards, and uh, I've only got three possibilities with those remaining cards. And then the third card dealt. Okay, so we have my two and the five out, uh, the first and second time, the card, second card dealt, I just have uh, 10 and 11 left. So I've got two possibilities. Okay, and then the fourth dealt. I just have a remaining card. Okay, so the total number of um, ways of arranging those four cards, so the number of arrangements of arrangements. Okay, it's going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that is equal to 24. Okay, so we've got 24 types of arrangements. For example, 2, 5, 10, 11 is one arrangement. 11, 10, 5, 2 is another arrangement. We also have 5, 10, 11, 2. There's so many arrangements, actually, there's only 24 uh, types of arrangements. And you, if you want to, you can um, explore all the 24 types of arrangements. Okay, but for each arrangement, they have the same probability, it's an even chance. Okay, so for my descending order, okay, the probability will be 1 over 24. Okay, so it will be D. Okay, so which one of these sectors in the pie chart represents the mode? Mode is the most frequent uh, value. Okay, so here, um, just going to do a nice example. Um, we have 7, 7, 7, uh, 5, and 9. Here, 7 is the most frequent value, so 7 is the most frequent.
Okay. Okay, so if I draw a, a pie chart, three fifths of this will be seven. Okay, so three fifths would be seven, so something like this. Okay, and here, one part will be uh, five, one fifth will be five, one fifth will be nine. And seven, I have three sevens here. So I've got three sevens. So that's the most frequent, which is the most. So looking at this, uh, we're looking for which letter has the highest frequency, and the highest frequency is a 